Hi, my name is Rachel with Curtis Orchard and today we're inspecting hives. We have a gorgeous day. Bees like to fly when it's nice and sunny and when it's 50 degrees or above. So we were able to get started at 7 a.m. this morning and uh, we've had a bit of mixed reviews with some of the hives because uh, a lot of them were replacing their queens but we're, we would expect to see brood at this point. So come with us and let's see if we can find some brood and eggs in this other hive that I'm looking at. So I suspect it actually could be an emerging queen, but we'll we'll be able to tell right away if it's if it's just a worker bee in there cleaning the cell, or if it's the queen. But she would not be mated, so she won't be as big as uh, the others, as a regular queen. Here she comes. It's a queen. Look, the queen's Look, emerging. You guys, the queen, the queen just right emerged. Now. Awesome. The queen just hatched. The just hatched. In your hand. Yeah. So look how tiny she is. She will get bigger. Oh. So is that one from this one? Yes. Bring her back. Well, did you have a queen or not? We don't know. We, we don't know yet. Her. Okay, well, we might give it back well, to the other guy. Yeah, we didn't see eggs. Okay, I'm going to keep her on this frame until we're for sure where to put, put her. I would. <laughs> but that's just She's right there. Fast. She's eating. <laughs> so she's about the size of the other one that we saw from the other hive. Her, her worker bees haven't even discovered her yet. Well, that's pretty exciting to and actually when they see. Do, what, what will happen? They'll start taking care of her. But she has to go on a mating flight first. So that's pretty exciting. Does she know she's a queen? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> she knows she's special. Yeah. But that just makes me wonder, maybe... We just need to give these a little more time and then we check them before I buy. Queen ready. Yay! Because I see the queen right here. And Lisa, look. This one's starting to emerge. Awesome. You see it? Look. Yeah. So she looks like she's still a virgin queen. You see her right there? Walking yes. Yeah. And there's so, more queen cells. Yeah. So we can give you, we can put her in there and give you the queen cells okay. on this one. Wonderful. We will give up to that make sure she got done in there. Let me put this mm -hmm. one in. This is good news. This means we're able to re get our queens into the all different boxes and replace them and give them another chance. Even if there was a queen in here, this hedge is our vet. We need the queen pheromones in each hive in order to ensure uh, that they we don't get a laying worker. If you get a laying worker, that means the end of the hive basically because laying workers can only lay unfertilized eggs which only turn into drones, which are males, and they don't do any of the work that the worker bees do in the hive. And you can see right here, this one is starting to emerge. You can see a little, she's chewing away. And there's also two other queen cells. This one's about ready to hatch too. So this is good news. Do you put Greenwich. those other queens somewhere else? You can't really do that very easily. I mean, you could try and dig it out of there, but we risk injuring her. So that's kind of a tricky thing. They should be starting to take care of her. Okay. They should yeah. accept her right away. It kind of like swarmed her and then I lost her. I don't know it down. Because there's always a chance that when, when you get a new queen cell, you keep it in a cage and you give them time to accept her. But usually they're, they're not emerging this fast and I don't have all those queen cells. So hopefully they will not. Oh, this one emerged. Right there. So maybe we will, if you wanna hold that, I'm gonna grab a, I do have one queen cage, which I will grab. Yeah, keep her over the hive so she doesn't, cause there's another, there's more emerging. This way, this will give them a little chance to get to know us. Okay. okay. Um, which is probably what we should have done with all of them, but I only have one of these. So let's take this frame then here. If you flip it over carefully, there's a more emerging. Oh, right now. She's coming right out. now. Yeah. So let's take it to that you want to show them that? hive. Yep. And oh, you can thank uncover you. it. Okay. Well, this day is turning out okay. <laughs> We're getting queens. Her, her, her new home's over here. That's exciting.
Well, that's pretty exciting to and actually when they see. Do, what, what will happen? They'll start taking care of her. But she has to go on a mating flight first. Accept her, and then I'll come back and close it up. I'll come okay. Up. So what would it look like if they don't accept her? Well, they would just kind of be leaving her alone. But okay. when they're all kind of going o around her. That would just kind of check her out soon. Yeah, okay. since they appear to be queenless, I would think they would accept her very quickly. Okay. But if they have a queen, it could be a problem. Correct. She's just kind of getting... Yeah, they're getting her scent. I'm seeing if they're trying to care for her and not fight her because we want to make sure that she, they're accepting her. Once she mates, then she's really too heavy to fly, at least very far. So that's why she's kind of small when she first emerges. She hasn't been mated. And she will mate several times with different drones. Every drone that mates with her dies. And that's to improve the genetics. And then she'll return to her hive and she won't uh, leave again. At this point, we're tentatively queen right, right? We know there's a queen in each box. She, however, she's a virgin, unmated, untested queen. So we're gonna come back in a couple weeks and check for eggs again.